Okay, this is the next attempt at, at the next script. Hello! Before I begin, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I had a pretty terrible time in college. I feel like it was all a fever dream, to be honest. There's a lot of videos on YouTube about college where people are like, it'll be the best and worst time in your life. But to be honest, I feel like for me, it was just the worst. <laughs> Uh, I learned the hard way that college is not for me, and I really hated every second of it. People will make it seem like being mentally unstable, not getting enough sleep, and being overall miserable during college is normal, and I just question it a lot. In high school, when I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do for college, I thought about going into animation. My high school had this cool thing where there was this free trade school called the Career Center. There was animation, video game design, fashion design, car mechanics, welding, cosmetology, you name it, and they probably had a class. I was lucky enough to get into the animation classes, and it really, really inspired me to pursue something in that field. During this time, I was really dumb and didn't even think about taking online classes like I am now. I wasn't really encouraged back when I was in high school, so it seemed like the only path was to go to a college and waste tens of thousands of dollars. In my high school, teachers didn't really tell you that not going to college was an option. Everything that we did was geared towards going to a university. And the adults in my life also never considered doing such a heinous thing as to not going to college. In my family, there's this weird stigma that if you don't go to college, it means you're a failure or something, which personally, I don't believe is true. I think it's an outdated mindset and one that doesn't work anymore. Anyways, but I looked at these art school prices and dried up like a raisin. <laughs> so I thought, oh, maybe I should just go to a college that isn't so expensive, but still has some similar career path. One day, when I was doing some caricature drawings for a church festival, this dude came up to me and asked me the big question that is asked to many 17 through 18 year olds in high school. What are you going to do in college? And I told this dude I might go into animation. So he said, you should do graphic design before getting into animation. And I was like, oh? and my interest was peak. Now that I look back at this, I'm like, what kind of idiot was I to listen to a random stranger about such a turning point in my life? If I ever see this man again, I'm going to wring his neck for even suggesting such a thing. Graphic design and some parts of animation pipeline do have some similarities, such as the iterative design, aka reworking designs until you get the right one, and basic concepts such as composition, contrast, and color. But that's about it. Graphic design does not equal animation. I thought about what this man said and I asked my parents what I should do because what this man said made me really question myself. And since my uncle was supposedly a graphic designer, they encouraged me to go for a graphic design. At my college, the graphic design course is extremely hard to get into. Basically, your freshman year, there is a basic class for every student that wants to get into the course. And there are hundreds of people wanting to get in. And out of these hundreds, only 24 people are hand selected by the professors to get in. However, during my freshman year, they had introduced another course next to the graphic design course, and this was user experience design. At the time, I was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And since there's a mantra that is hammered into my head by my parents that is, finish the job, I automatically was like, I'm going to apply to this graphic design course, even though I was clearly not good at it. So the big day came where they announced the people who got in. Maybe I'll talk about the portfolio review in another video, but I received an email in my school inbox and I didn't make it. But then another email popped up. I don't really know why I was nervous about the whole thing because I didn't really want to do it, but the email said, congratulations, you are selected for the user experience design course. Now, at this point, I was pretty shocked because I had zero expectations into getting into either course. 
and I thought to myself, well, let's see where this goes. Literally one of the worst decisions that I've made. <laughs> On our first day of our UX design course, our professors told us we would be so busy that we wouldn't be able to see our friends and family. And they were really excited about telling us this. And they were like, you guys are going to be so depressed. You're going to be like wallowing in design. And it seemed like they were bragging about how stressed out we would be in this course. And at first I ignored this but it was actually really true now during this time when i was doing ux design i was super stressed out and when i'm super stressed out i break out in hives and rashes and i get eczema and i'm more prone to picking up random viruses and my hair starts falling out at a rate that makes me surprised that i haven't gone bald <sighs> In the past few years, user experience design or UX design has picked up in popularity throughout the IT industry and it's really easy to find out about it on YouTube. And if you don't know what it is, it's basically a designer who makes aesthetic decisions based on user research. So if you don't like research and statistics, this is not the career for you. Now as a dumb butt, I convinced myself to go through the course and I did and somehow ended up with this degree that I don't want to use. This cost $50,000 and my slow but steady descent into depression and anxiety. A year later, I'm no longer as mentally unstable and I don't constantly have hives and rashes and gross random stuff growing on my skin and I don't have hair falling out of my head anymore and I'm not crying so much. So yeah, I graduated with a UX design degree without meaning to and now this dumb piece of paper is all I have to show for it. Now, keep in mind, this is my experience. I have the opinion that people don't need to go to college unless they're going into STEM and want to go into STEM, but make your own decision. College absolutely is not for everyone. And I really learned the hard way that it definitely wasn't for me. You can still be successful without going to college, but you also in my opinion, need to be self-motivated to do so. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!